What's up people, Piz out here, and as you can see, I have a package, and I am going to do an unboxing for you guys because that's what I do. So, gonna dive right into it. Little snip snip there. Little snip snip here. Here snip, they got it packaged in there pretty good. There snip. Everywhere, snip, snip. Whoops. And what do I have within? What's a bubble wrap? So much fun to pop. I will have hours of fun playing with that stuff. But look, I have got the, whoops, NECA. Friday the 13th, the final chapter, hockey mask. Replica hockey mask. And there it is. Ran across this on eBay. They had it fairly cheap, uh, much, much cheaper than I've ever seen it listed. So I thought I would go ahead and uh, grab it and um, see what it was like. So I'll go ahead and I'll wheel. Um, open it up if I can and uh, show you guys what it looks like out of the package alrighty and here is the mask outside of the packaging and it is very very heavy um, this is the heaviest hockey mask I have ever held um, very very thick thick material here um, so NECA definitely definitely went out of its way making this thing um, pretty sturdy um, right away, um, looking at it, the chevrons are painted. Um, they're like painted on, um, they're not actually like stickers. Um, you can see the gray, the wear there on the gray. That's actually, that's actually paint. Um, it's not an actual chevron sticker. Um, that's a little disappointing. Um, the blood there looks pretty good. Um, a lot of the scuffs and stuff, again, it's paint. It's not actually scuffs. It's not actually damage on the mask. It's simply painted. Um, these are a little loose here. These little, yeah, those are a little loose. Um, but yeah, um, you know, NECA, of course, makes those great, great, um, you know, figures. And they do a lot of great horror memorabilia stuff. Um, this... Of all the NECA stuff that I've seen, this is a little bit disappointing. Um, it's still a decent mask. I'll add it to my collection. Um, these things were going online for like 40, 50, 60 bucks. It's not worth that. Um, I got mine for a little bit less and uh, I'm glad that I did because as you can see, it is, it's a decent mask. It looks cool. Um, but it just, it, it's not really, to call it a replica, um, like I said, I mean the scuffs and everything on it, it's paint. It's not, it's not actual real scuffs. Um, it's like it's done with a pencil or something, I don't know. Um, and the chevrons are painted on, they're not actual stickers. Um, I will say, like I said, this is very, very thick, heavy material. I mean, this is, looks like something you could actually take a, ho a hockey puck off the dome and um, not really feel it. But um, yeah, all in all, um, if you can find this mask for 2025 at the most 30 bucks, I would say go ahead and get it, um, which is about what I paid for mine. Um, otherwise, I would say skip it and uh, spend a little bit more. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of really cool uh, mask makers out there. Um, Creepy Kentuckian over at Creepy Hawks, uh, Crash Cunningham. Um, there's a lot of guys out there that make um, really cool replica masks that are much better than this. Uh, they're a little bit more costly, like I said, but, um, you know, there's a certain, for me, there's a certain art artistry that goes into making a cool hockey mask that's why i've been on kind of a hockey mask uh, collecting um 
trip here lately. Um, want to snatch snatch up a bunch of these just to display them because I love them. I think they're really cool, and like I said, I think there's a lot of artistry that goes into them. Um, I'll definitely display this one um, along with my other hockey masks. Um, although all in all, um, uh, a bit disappointed in it. Um, definitely, if I'd paid, you know, fifty, sixty bucks or more for it, I'd be far more disappointed but you know like i said if you can get it for 20 30 bucks um i probably wouldn't go any more than 35 to 40 bucks for this um i would snatch it up but yeah really heavy really thick material i gotta give it up to neca for that um but it's it, you know it's it's mass produced it's not like these were individually um created i don't think um or else definitely uh uh you'd expect a little bit better detail in the scuffing and uh and stuff like that but overall pretty cool mask um yeah i'm blown away by the thickness and the heavy heaviness of it i mean they really put some serious material into this thing but uh, anyway yeah this is the NECA friday the 13th part four the final chapter replica hockey mask uh definitely a uh, nice little addition to my ever expanding hockey mask collection so until next time you guys take it easy and uh, peace